Hey guys, so I've had a lot of questions about, you know, how things work and how you uh, how you start the MS up and what have you. So I thought I'd do a quick little tutorial that kind of explains how all that works. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and select the RX-78-2. You can see it right there. I'm going to hit the enter MS button and now we're inside the cockpit. Um, just to verify that I'm as centered as I need to be, I'm going to click the right trigger uh, joy down and that will or the right uh, joystick joy down so anyway that will recenter the, uh, the cockpit as long as you're not grabbing the stick um, so anyway as you can see here the main power trigger um, it's making a woo 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 sound um, you're gonna want to hit this first this will start up the main power from here you want to hit the CRG button um, this will start the charge level down here then you can hit interior. This will start the interior screens and kind of the boot sequence for all this. You can see that's all booted up and, and good to go. So now you want to hit EXT on this side. What this does is enable the main cameras. Um, so now you can see they're all up. I can see outside the cockpit and look around the hangar and what have you. So at this point, um, what you're going to want to do is... Um, basically hit this FCS button right here. Uh, you can use either one of these hands to do this. And then you can hit the request button. Uh, you don't really need to be over there, this, this little pointer. Um, the way that the interaction system works, I can only have the pointer on one hand, so I, by default I've got it on the right hand. So you're gonna hit that. <clears throat> this is gonna take you uh, automatically to the catapult. Once you're on the catapult, um, basically it goes down into like a kneeling stance for launch and the button goes to ready. Now before we actually go to the launch process, I did want to explain a couple of uh, features um, of, of the game that, that you're going to want to know. First things first is obviously at this point I'm, I'm out in the in the system and I, and I can do all this. You'll notice all these buttons over here are red. Um, normally I would start them up as part of the sequence, but they're not required for you to be able to operate the MS. This is all your weapon systems. This is all your main systems. Um, I did want to mention that for those of you that don't know, there's a, uh, a music player here. So if you hit the radio button, it will play um, like internet radio stations once you hit play and pause. So, and then if you want to do um, music, you can hit the music button. And if you've already launched the game once, you'll find in the Windows Music folder, there is a folder that's created called Madnug Music. You can place any MP3 you want in that, in, directly in that directory, no subfolders. And then you can go in here, and you can choose music, and then you can hit play pause, and it will play whatever mp3s you have in there and you can cycle through them either up or down using the channel up and down so that's how that works i'm going to go ahead and pause that because i don't need it playing right now so at this point i'm going to go ahead and um start up the weapon systems before i launch um, normally i would have done that back there before i requested permission to go to the catapult but again it's not necessary you could go into battle completely unprepared to do any of your weapons and it would work just fine. Um, I mean, you wouldn't be able to shoot anything, but it would work fine. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the CRG button. This charges your weapon systems down here. Um, you're then going to hit the INT button. What this does is this enables any internal weapons to the MS. So for example, the Vulcans in the head um, or any built-in weaponry that's not like a beam saber or a, or a, a, a gun or, or something that you would physically have to hold in the hand, um, whether it be the left or the right. And then for that, what you want to do is you want to enable EXT. By enabling EXT, you turn on um, things like your hyper bazooka, your beam rifle, and then you can cycle through these weapons by doing this. Um, so you can see I've just equipped the beam saber, um, and you can. This is unarmed, so I don't have this particular portion completely set up. But unarmed would basically be if you hit like the attack button or the triggers on your on your your controller, it would uh, basically do like a punch animation type of thing. Um, but we want the uh, hyper bazooka equipped, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, now to launch, basically you grab these two right here. And you're just going to push both of these forward. 
is going to launch you out into space. And just a quick overview of the controls since we're out here. If you go directly forward, that moves you forward. If you pull back on both of these, it moves you backwards. If you want to turn to the left, you can do that. That's this and this. If you want to go the other way, you basically just reverse. And then you can do this. Um, and then your right... Uh, <clears throat> your right... Uh, joystick on your controller will do your um, roll in your in your your pitch basically um, so you can orient yourself a little bit the left one will do basically a boost left a boost right and then up and down um, for your movements is how that uh, how that all works out so um, then to stop basically you just need to kind of put them back into that um, but again, this is a zero grav system, so um, I have to do a little bit of a little bit of work here to offset the uh, the items once you're kind of in an idle state, um, so it doesn't keep moving you around. As you can see, I'm 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 not centering to full zero here, but that's a uh, that's a bug for me to fix. Um, anyway, so with the weapon systems enabled, um, you can see. Hopefully there's a, uh, a rectangle there. I'm having a glitch right now where it's not centering itself. It's supposed to be in the center of wherever you're looking. But you can uh, shoot the weapon. And then to do the reload, how this works, is basically you would go over here. This one right here that says REL. Or if you put your finger on it, it says reload right. We're going to hit that. Um, ah. That has reloaded my bazooka. There's a glitch right now where it's not updating the, uh, the information on the screen appropriately. I will have to fix that. But as you can see, I hit reload, and now I can uh, successfully reload my, my bazooka. Which again, as of right now, technically it's, it's been reloaded even though that's not updating. There's a, again a glitch where after I hit the reload, I have to go back to it before it, it updates that screen. <clears throat> but anyway guys, hopefully this has given you some insight as to kind of how to turn things on and, and, and what they do. Um, right now, this particular MS only has weapons on this side. Um, inevitably, that they both do the same. So this one does the right side or the right arm. <clears throat> and then this side does the left side or the left arm, which uh, currently just has a shield equipped. Um, but anyway, that's, that's kind of the rundown as of right now. Um, there's lots more to come. Uh, these screens right here will inevitably do many different things. I've yet to program what those screens are supposed to show you. Um, once I have this side done, I will be moving on to this side where the screens will do the same thing um, and show the exact same information. But I have to, uh, I want to finish this side so that way I can replicate what I've done to this side. Um, it's basically the same images and code. It, it just, yeah. So anyway. Um, like I said, hopefully that, uh, hopefully that gives you an idea how that, how that all works. And, uh, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it and, uh, let me know what you think in the discord channel.